Will Wilkinson, and he is with the Niskanen Center. He just finished a debate on uh, guaranteeing a certain income for all citizens. Mm -hmm. Uh, I wanted to ask him some general questions about uh, public policy in general. Uh, do you think that the government should protect us against environmental hazards? Uh, yes, yes. I think that um, you know people have a right to uh, you know, breathe clean air and have access to um, clean water. So that there there are some you know commons that are impossible to kind of enclose with private property and those things are a kind of um, sort of a public good and it's very, very difficult to um, uh, protect everybody's right to clean air and water uh, and other natural resources without having some uh, government regulation on you know, what kinds of substances businesses can admit and so forth. Do you think that the government should protect all peaceful citizens against people that want to use force to take their money? Um, yeah, the government should protect people against, like, yeah, yes, muggers and burglars and, uh, you know, car thieves and so forth. That's one of the sort of main functions of government is to sort of protect people against, um, you know, the aggression of others, yes. Can we live well if other people can legally gang up on us and forcefully take our money? Um, if you're talking about sort of roving bands of bandits, uh, no, we cannot uh, live, uh, uh, live peacefully if people are allowed to sort of gang up and, uh, and uh, uh, take our money. Um, uh, one of the reasons that, uh, um, that you know, states developed was that you know, sort of roving <laughs> bands of competing tribes uh, 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 you know, would you know, get into perpetual conflicts with one another over uh, uh, rival resources and places that are peaceful uh, and, and productive are places that have um, you know, a strong, uh, stable state that um, has a monopoly of force in a territory that prevents um, uh, other groups from um, using violence in a way that violates others' rights. So we wouldn't be able to live well if people can legally gang up. If it was legal for people to gang up and forcefully take your money, it's not possible to live well, right? Yeah, like no, people shouldn't be able to gang up and, yeah. you know, raid your, you know, jewelry box in your house. So uh, should the government redistribute its citizens' wealth by forcefully taking money from some citizens through taxes in order to provide free goods and services for others? Well, the, uh, the you know, integrity of the system of rights that is required for people to live peacefully uh, and to uh, um, cooperate productively and to accumulate wealth um, all of that whole structure is a structure of uh, public goods that needs to be financed, and there's not really a good way to finance it other than um, through um, some sort of system of, of taxation. Um, so you need um, some sort of tax mechanism that, uh, that collects some portion of people's income uh, to uh, ensure that the public goods that everybody depends on um, the protection of property, a system of courts, um, the you know, protection of these environmental public goods. Uh, you know, those need uh, resources to make sure that they're um, financed. Uh, you know, today what we were having a debate about was um, aspects of the welfare state, whether uh, there um, ought to be some form of redistribution to buffer people against the uh, risk of um, falling below a threshold of um, economic resources. Yeah, but I wasn't asking you about uh, citizens paying for the service of protecting their individual rights. I was asking you about forcing taxpayers to pay in order to provide free goods and services for others. In other words, redistributing their wealth, taking from some groups to give to others. Um, yeah, I think some level of redistribution uh, is necessary, yes. Okay, well, um, the, the, that's the thing that I'm trying to get at. So uh, when they do that, are they protecting the citizens that they tax? Yes. So uh, forcing you to give your money to the government to give to someone else is protecting you. So would they be better off if they weren't protected? No. 
well, it's, it's, so it's better to be out your money and to lose your money than to have it? I mean, when it's, one better, it's better to have the system of public goods and social insurance um, provided, which requires uh, a system of taxation. Um, well, we're not talking about all taxation. We're, there's no uh, uh, disagreement about taxing citizens to provide services to protect their individual rights. What we're talking about is taxing citizens to give the money to foreigners and foreign aid or to give the money to this group, to farmers, or to give it to corporate uh, entities, welfare, corporate welfare, or to the, so all these other things that are really wealth transfers from one group to another. That's what we're talking, that's what I mean by redistribution of wealth. I'm not impugning a taxation if you receive a service of protection of your rights, then okay, it's reasonable to pay. But what we're talking about is when you are forced to pay taxes to give it to some other group that has persuaded the government that they should get money from you. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't really understand. So, so the way I think about these questions is, I, so I don't have some background theory of uh, what ideal justice looks like because I think it's uh, a, a kind of, um, you know, Hayek would call it the sort of fatal conceit, uh, the, the idea that you can just sort of rationalistically conceive of some kind of ideal order uh, and then structure society to um, conform to your ideal. I'm more of an empiricist, so I look out at the world and I see where people are doing well. So I see where people are, are, are wealthy, where they're free relative to other places, and you see how those systems work. Um, and all of the systems in which people are wealthy and free are a um, are liberal democrat liberal democratic market welfare states. Um, well, there's all sorts of factors that go into the level of prosperity of a country, right? This so is not just one. Right. So I'm interested so in the hypothesis that that um, uh, that um, uh, no redistribution would lead to better outcomes for people, that people in general would enjoy more freedom. But to me, it's a hypothesis that, um, for which there's very, very little evidence. Well, what about um, the United States? The United States started with uh, that system of a limited government. If you read the Declaration of Independence, that's what Jefferson says. To secure these rights, governments are instituted. No other reason. Not to take from some to give to others. Um, but I, so I that's, think that's the sort of, sort of uh, The United States is a country that had uh, millions of human beings in chattel slavery. Uh, that, that was that wrong. Were, yeah, that, were treated, so. yeah that, that that was wrong. Yeah, it, but it's just it's just historically um, well, uh, inappropriate to characterize the uh, early United States as a, country as a that, limited government. Um, uh, the Yes, it so wasn't you, really, you uh, it, it, I mean, every government is limited, like every government, except well, for totalitarian no, I governments. I mean, in principle, and you seem to reject principles in general, because you no, say I you're empiricist. I don't, I don't reject principles Well, yeah, in general. because you say that they're ideal and rationalistic. So if, so, I wanna, if I'm going to look at the early United States, I'm going to look at its actual history. Well, right? okay, and so, well, and how, so, how large so, was so the government in so, the so early the, United States? Um, it's very, very hard to measure it, because oh. different, uh, so um, the... Do you want to include all of the costs for the enforcement of the southern slave, slavery and bondage state? That I was want, incredibly expensive. I want to include the amount that was taxed from the citizens and compare it with the amount that was taxed, the percentage that was taxed today, that is taxed today. A lot of money was raised and, through tariffs. And, so and I want to, to that, would, that would be one thing, you know, the quantitative comparison mm -hmm. between the amount of money yeah. The percentage that is taxed then, which was well, infinitesimal, yeah. and what's taxed now, which is substantial, and also the uses of that money. What was the government so using like, the money? Saying, like, the, you're, the you're, you're worried about taxes. I'm worried about like a system that owns human beings. Like I just don't think there's an interesting 
comparison, like, like the, the, the violation of liberty involved in taking some percentage well, of somebody's this. income is a lot different than taking somebody's entire life. It's a lot different from taking no, the I'm, land of indigenous people. But we're not talking we're about there, slavery. Well, you and me agree that slavery is wrong, and we, but let's right, focus. Right, but you're talking, you want to talk about the American system. The American about, system was a slave system. It was a system no, of genocide. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that was in the southern states. That was no, Not it, in the it, northern it, states. All, all of the northern states were slave states until a certain point. No. Um, oh. And and it, like seriously, if you want to talk about the United States, you have to talk about its history. Uh, it's based on expropriating land from indigenous people, uh, genocide, <laughs> taking just ta like it is. It, that is so, our history. So you think right? the United and so States. and so you can say like oh the, the taxes were low. Um, but that has very, very little to do with the level of liberty that the early United States enjoyed, was which was incredibly low levels of liberty. There, there were was whole classes of, of people had no rights, um, and 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 so there was a certain class mm -hmm. of citizens who uh, enjoyed a large number of privileges, who enjoyed a great deal of freedom, um, because they were the class that the legal system actually protected a certain kind of white male property on it. Was there um, more freedom and respect for rights in the United States than in the rest of the world? Um, it depends on what you're comparing it to. Um, the, uh, if, okay, if you're comparing you. early United States to sort of non-colonial, non-slave states, those states were just freer, so no I, matter what their level of okay, taxes. So you, you think the United States became wealthy because it expropriated uh, territory. I don't think that's why it became wealthy. Be, or because they had slaves. And that's why the, the southern states were so no, rich no, and the northern, was the northern states were so poor, right? No, it was, no, a, it was just the opposite, right? The, it was the, a drag. Right. Yeah, the, I, I, uh, slavery is not a it, very good uh, no, efficient it's not, system. It's, it's, not, it's, not a it's, very it's good immoral right. and also inefficient. 